um, uh, it is the only thing that is to be cherished in this material world. In this world, if you have to connect with the Lord, then Hari Nam is everything. Hare Nam Eva Kevalam, right? So that is why it is called Keval Ashtakam. Ashtakam basically means there are eight verses in this song. Um, let's read because it glorifies the Hari Nam and then we will sing it. Uh, please take turns. Um, maybe Namita Mataji, Anita Mataji, Hema Mataji, Priyanka Mataji want to read one each and then we'll pick some kids. More sweet than all other sweet things, more auspicious than all the other auspicious things, the greatest spirit. The greatest purities of all purifying things, the holy name of Sri Hari alone is everything. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. The entire universe, from the exalted Brahma down to the lowly clump of grass, is a product of the illusory energy of the Supreme Lord. The only thing that is reality, reality again, again. Uh, I say reality, the holy name of Sri Hari alone is everything. Hari Bol. That is a true preceptor or a true father, a true mother and a true friend. Also, only if they teach one to always remember the holy name of Sri Hari alone is everything. Hari Bol. Lord Hari, it no, there is no certain. There is no certainty when the last breath will come and put an abrupt halt to all one's material plans. Therefore, it is wise to always practice practice chanting from the very childhood. The holy name of Sri Hari alone is everything. The next one, uh, Lord Hari eternally dwells in that place where truly exalted, spiritually advanced souls sing in the mood of pure devotion. The holy name of Sri Hari alone is everything. Anyone wants to read number six? Six and seven. Six, seven, eight. Anita, um, maybe. Yes. Uh -huh. What a sorrow, what a great sorrow, more painful than any other misery in the world, mistaking it as a mere piece of glass, the people have forgotten this jewel. Number seven. I can read. Yes. Haribo. It should be heard again and again with one's ears. It should be uttered over and over with one's voice. It should be perpetually sung and sung anew. The holy name of Sri Hari alone is everything. Hari Bo. Number eight. I can read number eight. Yes. It makes the entire universe insignificant as a blade of grass. It rains supreme over all in a splendorous manner. It is full of eternally conscious divine ecstasy. It is, Shri Hari alone is everything. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hare Krishna Mataji. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, where are you joining from? Uh, I'm joining from Bethany, West Virginia. Oh, Hari Bol. Are you Hema's uh, sister? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Manju, yes, yes. Okay, thank you so much for joining. Jai Shri Krishna. Jai Shri Krishna. Okay, so um, we are. So this is Hare Naam Eva Kevalam or Keval Ashtakam, and we are glorifying. I'm just going to mute everybody because it's creating some disturbance. Uh, but please unmute whenever you want to speak or any questions or realizations you want to share. Uh, so, uh, Keval Ashtakam, so if you see the song, we'll, we'll discuss more details of it, but the first verse says, 
I'll just go over it very quickly. Madhuram Madhurebhyopi Mangalebhyopi Mangalam. So those of you who understand Hindi, this name of Shri Hari is more sweet than anything. It is sweeter than the most sweet things. It is more auspicious. Mangal means auspicious. More auspicious than all the other auspicious things. Pavanam. It is very purifying. Right? It is very, very purifying. So one who chants the names of Lord Hari, they will be purified. Their sins, their anarthas, their uh, sinful tendencies, right? Their uh, anger, illusion, greed, lust, pride, right? All those things will start fading away, right? Because it is very, very purifying. So um, Hari Nam purifies everything. A Brahma Stamba Paryantam. That from the Brahma Ji to the lowest ant, to the... Uh, lowest uh, creature in the material world, right? Uh, everything in this world is actually Maya or illusion. Sarvam Maya Mayam Jagat, right? Everybody is just trapped here in the cycle of birth and de death in this illusion in material world. But there is something that is not an illusion that is real in this material world. Everything we see around us is illusion. Our um, you know, designations that we have that I'm a male or a female or an Indian or an American or a brown or a black or in Hindu or a Muslim or a Christian, right? All those things, they keep changing. They're very temporary. They're very illusory. They, um, we, we think that we are this body, but we are not. So everything is very false. But there is one thing that is real, that is true, that is absolute truth, which is Satyam Satyam Puna Satyam. Only thing that is true is the name of the Sri Hari, name of the Lord Hari. Sa Guru Sa Pita Chapi. He is the true teacher, true Guru. Sa Pita, the father. Only that person has the right to become a teacher, a father. Sa Mata, a mother. Bandavo, a friend even, a well-wisher, a friend or a well-wisher. Only that person can call himself a guru, a father, a mother or a well-wisher. Shikshaye Chet Sadas Martum, who always teaches his dependents to remember the name of Sri Hari. Right? Shikshaye Chet Sadas Martum, not just 16 rounds in the day, but Sadas Martum, always. Right? Satatam Kirtayanto Maam, Krishna says. Right? Manmana Abhav Mad Bhakto, Mad Yaji Maam Namaskuru. So always uh, think of me, always worship me, always pay obeisances to me. So the person that teaches you that is the true guru, true father, true mother, true well-wisher. Nishwase nahi vishwasa. Shwas means sans, right? Shwas. I don't have faith in my own sans, on in my own breath. I can lose this breath, this pran, any time, right? Kada ruddhu bhavishati. You can leave it any time. Kirtaniya mato baliyat, right? So we should always do the kirtan of Sri Hari because you never, you cannot rely on your own breath, on your own pran. Uh, and the only thing that you can rely on is the Kirtan of the Harinam because that will take you, that is eternal. So even if you lose this body, lose this breath, lose this life, uh, the benefit, the credits that you get by chanting the names of Lord Hari are eternal. Hari Sada Vase Tatra Yatra Bhagavata Jana Gayanti Bhakti Bhavena. So where does Hari live? Hari says, Lord Hari says, I live where my devotees Hari Sada Vaset Tatra. Hari always lives where my devotees, Yatra Bhagavata Jana. Bhagavata means devotee people. Gayanti Bhakti Bhavena, where they sing my glories with devotion, with love. Right? Where Sri Hari's uh, glories, pastimes, qualities, names, forms are sung with love and devotion by devotees. That's where Krishna likes to reside. So Krishna says, um, in one conversation with Narad Muni, Krishna says, that Naham Tishthami Vekunte Sadhu Nam Ride Yogi Nam Ride Shuva Tatra Tishthami Narada Yatra Gayanti Madhbhakta That oh Narad Muni, I don't live in the heart of devotees or yogis, you know, mystic people. I don't live in Vekunta. I actually live in a place where my devotees sing my glories. Tatra Tishthami Narada Yatra Gayanti Madhbhakta Where my devotees sing. So don't uh, don't think that Krishna is not sitting here in this conference, hearing all of us sing the glories of Krishna's name, form, qualities, and pastimes, reading his instructions, his words from Bhagavad Gita, glorifying Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavatam. He's he's always there when we are doing that. Diyatam diyatam karno niyatam niyatam vacha. Right? Always give your ears this name of uh, Sri Hari. 
Near Tam, Near Tam Vacha. So give your ears the name of Sri Hari. Sing, right? Near Tam, Near Tam Vacha. Say the names of Lord Hari. Near Tam, Near Tam Nityam. Every day sing his names because Hari Nam is everything. Lord Sri Hari's name is everything. Trini Kritya Jagat Sarvam Rajate Sakalo Parichidananda Mayam Shuddham Hare Name Vakevlam. That this world, everything that you are having here, you know, any struggles, any um, uh, good things, any fortunes, any prosperity, any difficulties, anything, whether it's good or bad, that is all actually just a blade of grass. Trini Kritya Jagat Sarvam. This whole world uh, becomes a blade of grass when you compare it to the, uh, to what? Chidda Nanda Mayam Shuddham, the, the name that is um, most, that is eternal, that is uh, most blissful and that is most purifying, which is Lord Hari's name. So the Lord Hari's name is everything. Uh, so always take shelter of the names of Lord Hari, whether you are in uh, difficulty or in good situation, right? Sukhe Thako, Dukhe Thako, Hari Nam, Bhaje Thako, right? Always sing the names of Lord Hari. So whether you are in Grihe Thako Vane Thako, whether you are in Sukhardukh, whether you are in the house or in a jungle, Grihe Thako Vane Thako, right? Every time sing the names of Lord Hari. So regardless of time, place, circumstances, regarding of the, um, of any uh, reason, without any reason, sing the names of Lord Hari. Without any Hetu, when you do a Bhakti, when you sing the names, without any Hetu or cause, it is called Ahetu Ki Bhakti. So our uh, bhakti should be ahetuki, meaning without any cause, without asking for anything for ourselves. Uh, pratihata, without looking at the time, uh, place or circumstances in all situations, good or bad, right? Uh, whether I'm in difficulty or not, whether I'm in happiness. Um, so that is the glories of the Hari na Hari's uh, name. Uh, yes, Anita Mataji, you're asking or sharing something, please go ahead. No, I was just uh, uh, trying to inform Mataji. Sorry for interruption. It's uh, Namita Mataji's birthday today. So I would definitely want all of you to wish her. I won't be there in the class till end, most likely. So that's why I just wanted to inform before I leave. So <laughs> it's her birthday today. Yes, Mataji. Can we sing before you leave, actually? Uh, let's wish before. And we'll sing uh, this song, uh, thinking of Namita Mataji, that she may always... Uh, be blessed by the names of Lord Hari. May she never lose the taste for chanting of Lord's names. May she always have Lord's names uh, till the very end of this this breath and uh, achieve the supreme destination. Wishing you a very very happy and Krishna conscious birthday. And uh, you know we are all inspired by your uh, uh, love for the holy name. And uh, it has always been very wonderful whenever we get to associate with you, to hear from you, and uh, we can hear your bhav of service whenever we, uh, we discuss anything or talk about Krishna. We can see how it brings a smile to your face just talking about Krishna. So it's very, very inspiring. Great Krishna. Great Krishna. Happy Krishna conscious birthday, Mataji. Mataji chants, if, if you're okay sharing, Mataji, she chants. Um, 16 rounds every day and uh, whenever I talk to her, this is, this is the one thing that I'm so inspired by her because she says, or kuch ho na ho, I keep my chanting very strong. So she's all, she always, uh, you know, uh, tells me and I feel so inspired by that because that is the hardest thing to do for a sadhaka, you know, to keep their chanting strong. Um, that is, Prabhupada said, that is the 70% of the progress in devotional service that you will have is from chanting the names. And Mataji is every morning, you know, uh, chanting the names of Lord Hari, um, 16 rounds, that is, you know, a prescribed number by Srila Prabhupada. And then her hearing, her um, attendance in the class, the way she hears, you know, um, is, is exemplary. So thank you so much, Mataji. Um, her sevas, um, always eagerness to attend the programs and how whenever she misses, you know, because we are uh, so entangled in our lives that, you know, we miss and whenever she misses, Mataji feels so bad that I feel really bad for her. <laughs> she, the way she feels, uh, you know, she, it is, it conveys in her emotions that I feel bad for her. Oh my God, Mataji is not able to attend. She is really missing out. Uh, Mataji, I pray to the Lord that 
Uh, we always get your association and that you keep uh, advancing on this path um, and keep um, hold, our, hold our hand so we can also keep advancing on this path with you. Very bold. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you. And thank you for all your association. I'm very blessed to be part of you all. You know, you guys all inspire me and I wish I could do more. You know. But thank you all. So, so yes, we'll sing uh, Hare Krishna for Mataji first. Yes, and... let's sing for Mataji. Hare Krishna to you. Hare Krishna to you. Hare Krishna to you. Hare Krishna to you. Hopefully we get to meet you soon. Yes, yes, absolutely. I can't wait to see you. Um, okay, let's sing this uh, song quickly uh, because a lot of devotees have to leave. So we'll do a short class today, I think. Um, but please, everybody, join and sing. Uh, so we'll lead and follow. Maduram Madure Dhuapi. Mangale Dhuapi Mangalam. Pavanam Pavane Dhuapi. Hare Nabe Vake Balam. Maduram Madure.
I forgot to mention the translation of this paragraph. Aho dukkham maha dukkham dukkha dukkha taram yata. Oh, what a sorrow! What a what a great sorrow! Huh? This is such a sorrowful situation that the jewel of Harinam that we were given, right? We were given this this um, ratna, this jewel, this um, um, chintamani uh, jewel. You know that touchstone, and we treated it as as kanch, kachartam, kachartam means like kanch, like pieces of glass. We threw it away. We took it as any piece of glass and threw it away. Where it was a chintamani jewel, a touchstone that we were given. Uh, so we should, you know, that is a mood of a pure devotee that I don't have a have taste in the names of the Lord at all. And uh, what a great sorrowful situation for me that I'm not able to develop this nam ruchi, this taste in the names of the Lord that are like the chintamani jewel, and I'm treating it like glass. I'm so inattentive while my chanting i'm doing so many offenses while i'm chanting i'm thinking of other things my mind is not able to focus and krishna has presented himself as in the form of names to me he's sitting right there with me in the form of his name huh? you know that name and uh, krishna krishna's name and krishna are non different right and he's sitting with me in the form of his names and i'm completely ignoring him right Imagine how you feel when somebody is sitting with you and you're trying to talk to them and they're on their phone the whole time. How would you feel when somebody is, um, uh, you know, uh, distracted and not paying attention to you when you're talking to them? And imagine you are calling to Hari, chanting his names, but when he comes, when he's sitting there, you're not focused on the names. You are ignoring and your mind is running here and there. Your mind is entangled in, oh, my to-do list for today. Maybe I should... Um, I need to buy this grocery. Maybe I need to put order for this a particular item from Amazon. Or uh, oh, this person said that to me. How dare they say this to me at work or in my family? This person called and said this to me. You know, we are entangled in all this. And what is that? That is treating the Hari name of Ratna, the Ratna as a as a glass. So um, remember that Trini Kritya Jagat Sarvam. Let all the world fall away. Remember that it is all just a blade of grass. Let all of that fall away when we are chanting the names of the Lord Hari. And I'm, I'm not saying this to any of you. You're all very, very advanced. And um, I know that you all very, very attentive. I'm actually speaking this to myself. Whenever I'm saying anything, I'm actually just uh, preaching to myself because I'm very inattentive while chanting. So please pray for me that I can focus on the names of the Lord when chanting. Um, the taste is not coming. And... Um, uh, for a sadhaka, that is the that is the jewel to have if we can develop the taste in the in the names of Lord Hari, taste in the seva of the devotees, uh, you know, Jeev Daya, Vaishnav Seva, and Nam Ruchi. These were the three principles given by Mahaprabhu, who is none other than Krishna himself. Um, there is a verse that comes in um, Bhagavatam. Uh, Nam Chintamani Krishna Chaitanya Ras Vidraha Poon shuddho nitya mukto abhinnat van nama namina. Nama chintamani Krishna. That Krishna's name is like chintamani jewel, like touchstone. You know, touchstone jewel is, um, it's, um, it's something that exists in spiritual world, not in this material world. But it, it is that if you touch that to anything, it will become gold. Hmm? If you are very, very precious, right? So that is a chintamani, a touchstone jewel. Uh, so Hari Nam is like that. If you touch, if you let the names of Lord Hari dance on your tongue, your tongue, your body, your consciousness, everything will get purified. So Nam Chinta Mani Krishna Chaitanya Ras Vigraha. It is the Ras Vigraha. It is the blissful form. Vigraha means uh, the deity, the form of the Lord that manifests in the form of name. Chaitanya means eternal, like the um, transcendental. Uh, that has no... Um, beginning or end, that eternal transcendental form of the Lord full of bliss will manifest in the form of name. That is the beauty of the names of the Lord. Poorna Shuddho, it is completely pure, it is completely Shuddha. Nitya Mukto, it is completely free of anything of this material world. Poorna Shuddho, Nitya Mukto, Natwan, Nam, Namina. The Nam and Nami in case of Krishna has no difference. Natwan, Nam, Namina. There are many, many beautiful, glorious verses describing the glories of Hari's names. Um, but I really like that one. So, uh, thank you, everybody. Um, 
which uh, will lead a, a lot of devotees had to leave because of previous engagements. Um, so maybe next time we'll start the class early. <clears throat> um, but let's go to Bhagavad Gita and see if we can read just a few verses from chapter 15. Hebrew. 